Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit short. I have some stuff that I need to get done, but I wanted to pop in, show you guys this really good example of how I use the level two today to predict that Airbnb would fall from a really strong resistance area. So I was trading Airbnb, I was watching the level two, and I saw a lot of sellers stack up at $212 a share. When I saw that the sellers were not giving up and the buying pressure was not there, I quickly took a small profit on a trade that I had relatively large size in. And after I took that profit, got out of that trade, the stock took a pretty big fall. Now, the only reason I was able to see this and I was able to sort of predict this move was using the level two and seeing that the ask size was starting to increase and the sellers were starting to take over. I have this example caught live. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and play it back. Hopefully this is a good learning lesson, a good example of how you can use the level two to predict stock movement. So before we jump into this one, as always, smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel for some future videos, and make sure to press that bell notification so you know every single time that I post on this channel. All right, so I have the live trades pulled up. What we're looking at here is Airbnb on the top right. Now, right now I'm up about $175 on the day. I closed really nice screen today, up about $800. I will show that to you right now. I'll pull up my uh, my uh, Discord where I post my daily P&Ls. Today was a good day trading Airbnb, trading some other really uh, quick movers. $897 today, so continuously seeing some profits here in the scalping account. But I just want to go over this quick example. I thought this would be a good video for you guys. So here is what we're looking at. We're looking at Airbnb. We just started to break out, and I'm in a 215 call on Airbnb. I have five contracts, so about $2,300 in this trade. So a decent size for my for my account, but obviously I'm getting in and out of these quickly. So I am limiting my risk by watching these, getting out quick, and having that risk management. So keep an eye on the top right here. This is Airbnb. We can see we had a breakout. That's what caused me to get into this. But when you see us get up to $212 a share, I'm going to pause the video and we're going to watch the level two together. So I'm going to play this. And when, when we see Airbnb push up to that 212, so we're sort of at 211.36, we're finding some support here. The, uh, the, the tape is speeding up 21.66, 211.60. And once we get to 212 on the dot, you guys will see that the, the, the size on the selling is extremely large. So right around here, I'm going to pause the video right here. So you guys will see 212. 15, 1, 20, 35, and 36. So that's a lot of shares. This is in the hundreds. So it's, it's just uh, 2,000, 3,500, 3,600, 1,500 shares, all wanting to sell the stock at 212. Now on the bid, there's not as many bids, right? So not much uh, buying support at that level. So we have a ton of sellers at that level. Right now I'm up $76 on this position. And right when I saw this pop up, I got scared out of this trade because I knew that there was a lot of selling, a lot of resistance up ahead. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So 212 hits, it tries to break through it. You can see that we're still trying to break through that 212 and we don't get it. You can see 211.93 shows up and then quickly, boom, 211.73, we're losing momentum. I get out of my trade right here. So my sell order comes in because I saw those sellers stacking up at 212. So I get filled on my order right there. I take a $47 gain, but watch here than stock and watch what happens after we lose that 212 level. So really quickly, you will see that Airbnb takes a big move lower. So it's starting right now, 211.75. We're starting to lose momentum. Give it a second and you will see how much this starts to fall. So that 212 level is not you no know, strong. It's not support. And now we're at 211.35. And in a second, you'll see this drops to 210.75. So almost a $2 a share move down right here just because of that super strong support or super strong resistance at $212. So I'm going to go ahead and play this back and we can watch this one more time. So 212, you can see the seller stacking up there, 1,400, 2,000, 3,500, 3,700. And if these numbers are not decreasing and the sellers are not getting bought up, then you know that there is a lot of resistance there. So quickly, you will see that we fail that level. And if I fast forward this in some speed, you'll see that we have a really large rejection if you look at the chart here on the right side. So that is a good way. I know this is a quick video, but look at that big move. That's almost, what is that? That's $3 a share. So a huge move down. If you're caught in option contracts and this move, it can be extremely 
risky and you can lose quite a bit of money if you're not watching that level two. So hopefully this quick video shows you what I'm watching here on Interactive Brokers, what I'm watching on the level two. If I see a large ask size start to stack up at a certain level, I get out of my trade, even though obviously I wanted to stay in this and I wanted to be hopeful that we would break through it. But sometimes you have to be realistic and you have to take that quick win or that quick loss. So hopefully this helps guys reading that level two. If you have any questions on it, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. So I know this video is quick and a short example of how I read the level two there, but in the future, I plan to make a more detailed video on the level two and reading the tape. So if you guys would like that, make sure to smash the like button and let me know down in the comments below. I figured this live example of the level two was a little too good not to show you guys, even though it was a quick example, hopefully it was able to teach you something. And in the future, you can do some more research on the level two. And once I make that more detailed video, it'll really help you out and see what I'm watching. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I know it was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.